Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Wherever you are, I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Wednesday, January 15, 2014. Man, do you see my wing? It keeps wanting to fly away. It won't stay down. Not time to fly away yet. A little more time, please. We all need a little more time to get right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm actually in a really, really good mood today, if you can't tell. Today's facts of the matter. Ever feel like you're struggling with your ministry? Here are some thoughts that may re relieve... Don't you love it when you see a word and you're like, I know that word. What is that word? Uh, 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 uh. Sorry. Here are some thoughts that may relieve the pressure and put the whole ministry thing in perspective. One, it is God in his mercy who gives us the ministry. It is nothing we can drum up. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. If only I may finish the race and complete the ministry the Lord Jesus has given to me, the task of testifying to the gospel of God's grace. Acts chapter 20, verse 24. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry, we do not lose heart or give up. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. So, be sure the ministry in which you are in which you are engaged is the same as the one God intends for you. It is all too easy to contrive a ministry born out of guilt, pride, obligation, or even opportunity. Number two, the people to whom you are minister, the people to whom you are to minister, that half percent. Oh, here's the cord. Move your chair. Get back there. Sorry, son needed the cord for the phone. All right, number two. The people to whom you are to minister are a gift from God. Even the men Jesus worked with were given to him by his heavenly Father. I have revealed to... I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me, and they have obeyed your word. John chapter 17, verse 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me. And they have kept thy word. Number three. The chances are that if you are operating within your gifts ministry-wise, you will be doing something. One, that you are good at. Two, you enjoy. And three, God blesses. God blesses that ministry. So relax. Walk intimately with Christ and see what He chooses to do through you. As one believer put it, Well, Lord, I wonder what you are planning today. Do you mind if I tag along and watch? Perhaps you'll even let me participate in a small part of it. That's the facts of the matter. But we're going to jump into this here. Going back to number one. It is God in his mercy who gives us the ministry. It is nothing we can drum up. If God didn't tell you, if our Lord didn't tell you, to go do what you're doing, you shouldn't be doing it because it's false. If he didn't say, Nicole, 
Start up your daily devotions again. What I would be doing would be false. And it would be a false ministry. And there's so many of those, we don't need any more. <clears throat> so if God did not tell you, if our Lord did not tell you to do that ministry, which you are doing, stop. For your sake, just stop and ask him, Lord, Jesus, what do you want me to do? Two. The people to whom you are the minister are a gift from God. They're not coming to your channel on YouTube, your MySpace page, your Facebook page, your Faith book page, your Tumblr page, your etc. If it wasn't for Jesus putting it in their hearts to, oh, watch that video. You guys would not be watching my videos if it wasn't for Jesus saying, putting it into your heart, saying, watch her. <sighs> There's not much more you can say on that one. If your followers, if you do daily devotions or whatever you do, would not be following you if it wasn't for God. Number three, the chances that you are operating within your gifts ministry-wise, you're going to be doing something you're good at. That you enjoy. I enjoy getting up every morning to do these devotions. And God blesses your work. And, like I said, those are the facts of the matter. For today, Wednesday, January 15, 2014. I hope whatever ministry work you're doing, the Lord blesses. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. I love you guys. Happy Wednesday!